What's up guys? Another simple video. I'm going to show you uh, kind of the way the simple works here. And I'm going to give you an idea of uh, its weight and its um, rigidity. As you can see here, the pole breaks down at every section. The add-on sections, these two sections I think are six foot. The next four sections I'm getting that are in the mail right now and headed towards me are five and a half feet. And they all stack together like this, you know, one right after another, no section on the top. And then you add your section one and then three sections down, you put another piece and then there's your pole, your regular pole. And then another three sections down, you put another piece, none of that garbage. You just add a pole to the bottom going up way better. I love it. Super lightweight, very rigid. Um, right here I'm going to stand this 32 foot pole up charged with water I've got an 18 inch tucker brush on the end of it the uh, the hybrid brush with an aluminum rinse bar and a GoPro and a GoPro mount I am now feeding the hose into the uh, integrated uh, hose holding clamps every other clamp has a spot for your hose to go into so you can hold your hose and keep it out of obstacles which is pretty cool I don't use it very often but when I do it's usually because there's gonna be something in the way and I don't feel like messing with it but I'm gonna Mike Mike Nichols just sent me a boxer I'm gonna respond and then I'm gonna stand this pole up pretty slick oh well, that's before I gotta clamp it down but whoop, super lightweight very rigid pole um, as you can see there, right there's the uh, the clamp, or the, the hook that holds your 5 16 toes. Super awesome, man. I really like that about this pole. That and um, the fact that you could take it apart at every single section um, and add to the bottom of it to make it taller. Um, Phillips really thought of it all. I can't say enough about these clamps. These clamps are... Um, they hold and even if, if you don't open that clamp all the way up like if you don't fold it all the way up and it'll still hold you still can't get the you got to force it down if you don't open that clamp all the way up that's how good the clamps are I really really like the clamps if you have a pole now like a reach it pole a cheap it pole and you want better clamps the simple clamps will fit on your reach it pole way better clamps but just I mean look at that man charged with water right up super light super rigid um it's really hard to top that guys um you're about to see my my bald head you know it's part of getting old you know i usually keep it shaved but right now i i don't look at the uh oh, it's terrible the reflection off of that is burning astronauts eyeballs out i'm surprised i didn't scorch the uh camera lens <laughs> You see, I did all that one-handed, you know what I mean? I dropped that pole down, and here we are. I'm going to extend it up. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I don't know if this is, I guess you could consider this three stories. Um, it seems a little short to me, maybe like two and a half. I don't know. I know that's a 32-foot pole, and I'm 5'11", so that's like 37, like around 40 feet that is right there i know the 45 foot lift is just barely stretched out on this i which i do hand i do do this by hand every other cleaning um but uh it's um it's a joy to work with man uh philip's got an awesome pole if you guys want to check out a simple go to www.simple.com it's a little like uh, reading Sanskrit, like the Dead Sea Scrolls. But once you find out where the poles are at, you're going to love the pole if you get one. Um, if you're on, on the market to upgrade to a high mod pole, um, the Ultra High Mod Sim 8 is where it's at, man. He's coming out with a Kevlar skinned uh, high mod pole, um, which is super durable. Jason Lehman has one and absolutely cannot say enough good things about it. Um, Actually, my next four sections are going to be Kevlar, I think. So that's pretty cool. Um, so what I'll be adding onto the bottom will be Kevlar from here on out. But as you can see, one hand, I'm using this pole one-handed. Here, watch. Boom, one hand. 
no i mean look how rigid that is come on man it's unbelievable how rigid this pole is rigid light um super easy to use it's not comp you don't need to you don't need a, an instructional video from a yum yum that's never cleaned windows to build the pole to make it taller you just add a section to the bottom you know as you go you can't you just can't beat it uh, there's co other competitors on the market that also um, add their sections to the bottom which I just think is the best way to do it coming from someone that's used um, cheap its poles and I have all I have a mini with all of the plus sections I can assure you that there is a better way to add length to your pole and the way Phillips doing it is the right way. The way Zero is doing it is the right way. The way Tucker does it is the right way. Add it to the bottom. These sections on one on the top, one in the middle, one on the bottom, that's a joke. Just, you know, it's just a joke. Um, it's just, if you want a, a taller pole, do it this way. Do it this way. You know what I mean? This is the way to do it. Um, as you can see, it just, you know, I go from one section to the next, from one story to the next. Super easy. No taking it out of the center, dropping stuff on, you know, the ground. You know, it's just one, it's just super smooth. Super smooth. You cannot, I'm a big proponent of uh, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. And to me, the less, the least amount of bull crap you're doing in between you know, dropping sections and making the pole shorter or longer. The easier that is, the better. Um, if you try to overcomplicate it like some companies do, um, in the long run, it's just, it's just, it, it's going to add time. And if there's money in, in windows, if you clean them fast, right? There's, there's money in glass if you clean it fast, unless you have to build a pole like an erector set and take it all apart and add a section and then assemble it and then add a section and then assemble it and then add a section and then when you want to drop down to the next level you got to disassemble it and then put it back together this you just take the section off set it aside add the section stand it up you know what i mean so on and so forth as i've shown in the video there's money in glass if you clean it fast with a simple um you just can't go wrong <laughs> You just can't go wrong. The clamps are bar none. You're not going to have to adjust them every time you open them. Um, you, you set them. You cinch them down. Um, you get it where you want it. And you lock them. And they stay that way. I've yet to adjust my, the thumb screws on my clamps. Um, two months in. I have not had to readjust them. So, yeah. I, again, you can't say... I can't say enough good things about the pole. The finish on the pole, super smooth. There's no ring, ring, ring when you're opening and closing it. Philip has really pulled out all the stops with his pole. Thoroughly impressed with this pole. Um, and I am completely and totally honored that um, I've got one to uh, to show you guys um, at height here. Philip was uh, pretty nice. I mean... He didn't cut, I mean, I got a good deal. Let's just put it that way. He gave me a good deal on the ad sections, you know what I mean? Because I was a little disappointed in the Sim 6's height. You know, 20 feet is just not enough. So, uh, he was pretty nice about the, uh, the, the, the add-on sections. He gave me a little bit of a break on those. So, that was very nice of him. Um, and, uh, I'm, I've actually to the point to where I've, I'm, you know what, I'm going to buy some more sections for it recommended the kevlar so i'm going to go with the kevlar sections because i'm most likely um that towards the end of the season i'm most likely going to buy uh the excalibur the full you know the the i think it's the i think it's the sh his new short uh kevlar pull so i think i'm going to buy that and just add that to the bottom of this and uh my kevlar sections then i'm gonna have a full kevlar pull and this pull so that's awesome good for me yay me but uh as you can see I, I mean it just ease of use um simplicity is probably the best thing you could say about this poll uh keep it simple 
was simple. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? It's just, it's simple. It's uh, nuts and bolts, ease of use, lightweight, rigid. It's just awesome, man. I can't, I can't say enough about it. I can't say enough good things about this pole. Um, I'm interested to see durability wise how it's going to stand up to the season a, a full season of window cleaning and i'm going to put it through its paces i do a lot of large properties uh, at you know varying stories between three and four stories very large properties and i'm i'm interested to see how this is going to work um and how it's going to stand up over the season um so far so good i i'm very very happy with the way it's uh performing thus far and there boom just pull the top out do some lower windows and uh keep on moving man just keep on trucking you know you don't have uh you don't have to lay the pole down on the ground because you got to get the top section out of the a because it's like six feet over your head you know what i mean <laughs> it's just it's simple man it's a simple pole, a simple design, uh, made by uh, just a down-to-earth simple guy. You know what I mean? I, Phillip's a little, uh, he's a little eccentric, but he has an awesome product. And, you know, I know his personality may turn some people off, but I can assure you that the product is worth, the juice is worth the squeeze here, ladies and gentlemen. The juice is worth the squeeze. It's just, uh, it's a great pole. Um, I'm not very, I'm not too sure, um, when my next sim pole video will be. Um, I do have some things lined up, but I think it's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit, uh, before I'm water fed polling again, um, at height, anything that's worth you guys seeing. Unless there's something you want to see me do with the sim pole, um, I'm probably gonna do some trad work with it just to show you guys how cool it is. And how awesome it is to use as just a regular uh, tra traditional pole for trad work. Um, if you're a trad guy, you're like, man, screw these water-fed pole dudes. I want to use, I, I, you know, I'm a trad guy. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, this pole right here, the way that Phillips got it, the, the Sim 6 is like 20 foot. This 20 foot pole right here um, for trad work, I, it just, it's awesome, dude awesome and i'm i normally use the unger five section aluminum pole for trad work at, you know when i want to do something high in the air with you know traditionally and i've stopped using i'm actually going to take it off the truck i don't see any need for it now um just now that i have the simple i'm going to use it for everything um i do have a tr zero trad 12 which i do all of my storefront and um restaurant work with i don't think that'll change but anything over twelve foot, I'm just gonna use my I'm just gonna use my simple. I'm just gonna use my simple. And it's just it just works. Um, I you know I can't say uh, I can't say that uh, I'll never use an aluminum pole for anything again. But um, I don't really at, at this point I don't really see a reason why I would need to use my aluminum uh, Unger pole for anything anymore. I'm gonna. Just after using the zero pole and the trad pole, the trad twelve, and now using this, I just you know aluminum poles are nice, and I you know I cut my teeth on aluminum poles, water fed pole, and traditionally, you know they break down, they wear out, they get bends in them from you know pulling. You know I got a I got a permanent bow in my four foot street pole, my four by eight street pole, my hunger pole. You know it wears the nylon lockout, or I gotta pull the uh, the 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 extension out and replace it you know every year um i don't see that with these carbon fiber poles um thus far so um i think carbon fiber is just the way to go it's gonna last you longer it's uh, especially this high mod that this high mod sim pole right here it's 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 gonna last you longer it's gonna wear better it's just and if you're going to have a water-fed pole in your hand or a, just a pole in general in your hand, you know, for a long periods of time, why not spoil yourself and buy a, a high-quality pole that's not going to beat your body up? Uh, it's not going to be floppy and sloppy. It's, it's, the, it's better to spend the money wisely because in the long run, it's going to save you money. Um, I think uh, this this pole right here actually saved me on this job. Uh, it, I'd probably be instead of doing this voiceover, I'd be out 
still cleaning the windows on this job. <laughs> so uh, I'm spoiled right now. I'm going to, I think there's a clip here. Yeah, there's a clip coming up here. I'll sh kind of show you guys, kind of get an idea of how the hose, the how the levers hold the hose, as you can see. Um, hopefully it comes, yeah. You can see right there, see, and it just goes right into the lever there. There's a little loop, and the hose, see, goes in and out so easily. I really like that about this pole. I'm not a fan of putting the hose inside the uh, the pole, because if you got to break the pole down, you got to do a bunch of redonkulous shit it's just it's not the way to do it um only momos put their uh uh hose inside the pole just breaking a pole down it just you know if you want to if you got like 45 different poles then i can see maybe you know putting it in there but i mean not only that you're the wear on your the end on your hose when you're sticking it on the ground it's sitting on the hose you know just just use the the clamps that are afforded you here by simple and stick the hose inside the the lever man it's so easy it's that that's what it's there for why complicate things <laughs> i enjoy the poll i hope you guys like this video um i'm gonna do a little bit uh this is i like this part this this clip coming up right here i really like um i just caught it by chance um and i was like you know what because as you can see my gopro's on the end of the pole i was like you know what maybe i ought to catch this part on video for sure and uh I, I just i think this is pretty cool um i'm you know standing quite uh, quite a ways away from the building um there's an awning or a roof right there above this stairwell i can't walk up on the stairwell because this these stairs are actually closed down they're falling apart there's a chain across there saying keep out um but I have to uh, clean these windows because there's a big green awning there and I can't get back there on the side any closer to the building. So I have to do it from where I'm standing right here. And I was just like, man, this is going to be a... Hopefully this pole will perform like I think it's going to and there won't be a huge bow in this pole. As as And you will see here, um, it doesn't. I, <laughs> it's... It's amazing to me how rigid this pole is, but also light at the same time. The high mod uh, pole is the way to go. It's just the way to go. Um, I, I think I extended all the way out. Almost all the way out. I think I'm on section 7 here. Is, yeah, I'm almost all the way fully extended. And just look at, just there's no bow in this pole whatsoever. I go all the way down to the bottom of the window and then come back up and there's just look at that look at that man what an awesome pull just a pleasure to work with and it lives up to uh phil's boasts and my boasts um but mainly phil phil has a lot of good things to say about his pole he just thinks it's the best pole in the world and um man he's got a strong case for that just look at the rigidity there man it's just, I'm over my head. I'm probably 15 to 20 feet, maybe 15 feet away from the, the building, um, extended two stories up. It's just, it's awesome, man. And the very little to no flex there at all. I mean, it's hell of a pole, guys. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If there's anything you'd like to see more, know about the simple, let me know. And I will uh, definitely, without a doubt, I'll take care of it and get it on video for you. Or answer your questions the best I can. Um, I'm a novice with the simple. I'm just starting out. I'm only a couple months in with it. But I just can't say enough good things about it. It's, it's just a hell of a pole, guys. And I think... Uh, you can't go wrong with this pole. You just can't go wrong. If you buy a sim pole, you're not going to you're not going to regret the purchase is what I can say. And this pole can grow with your business. You know, you can add sections to it as you like. And every pole is integrates with the next pole. You know, Kevlar works with High Mod, you know, the whole and vice versa. It's just, you know, it's a hell of a system. And you you, know, you just keep it simple with simple, man. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys um, subscribing to the channel and your feedback. I'm almost at a 400 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy to me. I never thought I would get there. 
So share me around. Help me get to 400, man. But uh, thanks, guys. I'll see you soon. Um, you know, I'll do what I can to make the channel cooler and uh, my videos better as I go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. www.simple.com. Peace. Thank you.